Mew wishes for Himiko to have really cool facial hair. Much to Himiko's surprise, Mew's wish ring seems happy to comply. Himiko's got a, uh, Himiko's got some pretty dope facial hair now. Okay. <laughs> Tomorrow, fair individuals. No, good day, good people. It's another fine day in the year of the horizon with Tumic, Dave, and your United States Aviator, and welcome back to another installment in the summertime season of the Don Gong Olympic Hunger Games. And we got a fun one, ladies and gentlemen, we're fencing. We're fencing, we're fencing, we're fencing, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> it's you know what we got, you know what we got. It's the same thing every single time this season. Six competitors from the six teams, 36 souls on the line, but only one can come out on top. Three will get medals. Who's it? Are you guys ready? I, we just gotta, we're fencing today. It's Olympic fencing, and we got the best fencers in the whole wide world here, starting in Danganronpa 1. We have Taka, we have Mondo, Togami, Mukuro, Kyoko, and Leon represent their fencing team onto Danganronpa 2. Clearly, Peko, because if we didn't pick Peko, we would have failed miserably. Chiaki has played enough games, has the precision accuracy, Hajime, Gundam, Akane, and Mikan, surprisingly, she's got enough needles, I guess? She knows how to appropriately stabby stabby. Danganronpa v <laughs> stabby stabby. Danganronpa v3 Samugi. Rantaro, Maki, Karumi, Himiko, and Mew. Ultra Despair Girl. Speaking of stabby stabby, Genocide Jack. Jotaro, Masaru, Haiji, Hiroko, and Komaru. Danganronpa 3. Munakata, Izayoi, Juzo, Seiko, Chisa, and Kizakura, and lastly, the six OCs featured today, starting at the top, we have Anna Rapier, whose last name I could not, I, I couldn't not put her in the fencing episode, it's a rapier, fencing, one and one, one and the same, she's the ultimate trickster, created by Laksana, will she be able to trick someone right into her sword, maybe, perhaps? Moving on, we have Jun Keen, and Jun is the ultimate ninja created by Flame Shadow Stalker. In the art is by Kagami Shinami. Mikoto Itsuki by Flaming Mortified Llamas, which is once again the greatest name of all time. And she's the ultimate gamer now, the ultimate serial killer fan. Which is perfect, because she's here with Genocide Jack today. Maybe they'll bond, or maybe one of them will kill the other. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, gone. Oh, ho. The ultimate samurai, giving Samurai Talk, who is also in this game, a run for his money. Who will come out on top between those two? Oh, gone. Created by the Golden Phoenix. The art is by Darby Linian. And onward to Rin Uchi. Created by XSP, the ultimate hypnotist is here. Likes, dislikes, nobody, or likes, nobody knows. Dislikes manipulating people with his talent, but he might have to in order to get a big victory here. And lastly, the ultimate villain draws a sword by Zenev Power. Scarlet Obakiru is back again. And that's the lot. That's the, the souls here today. So. Tell me which team are you rooting for today? Danganronpa 1? Danganronpa 2? V3? Oh. V3. Oh. <laughs> Ultra Despair Girls, Danganronpa 3, or the OCs. Muse here. I gotta pull up the Agent of Chaos wheel. She's the champ. I almost, I almost slipped on that. I actually knew. I'm playing with you guys. I had it up. I was ready for it. <laughs> Perfect acting, right? Perfect acting. <sighs> Let's spin this. Let's see what happens. While I'm doing this, you guys go ahead. So who do you think is going to get first, second, and third? Gold, medal, bronze. Tell me. 
who is it going to be? The second gold medalist of the season, but for right now, it's only a 1 in 20 chance. The odds that it hits 5% chance, I need to actually, I'm tapping it still, I need to scroll down and hit the screen recording button because I didn't do that. 3, 2, 1, great. And now we're set. <laughs> now we're moving. Now we're going. And it is... Not really that close. Order remains. I could have told you that one, you guys. I could have told you that one. That's just for, you know, posterity's sake. Because next time, it'll be 10%. And while that 5% chunk looks small, 10%, you kind of get a grasp of how soon that thing's gonna hit. Mew, you're gonna be in trouble. Hopefully you're ready to defend. I hope you guys picked first, second, and third. Let me tell you about the points. You guys saw yesterday how the points work out. First, second, and third, they get points 25, 15, and 10. In the other simulator, the feast also holds a lot of points up to 25 that could be garnered. This simulator does the same. Today's... Today, everyone has a sword, because it's been time. During this season, in this simulator, an item will be represented for every event, there's events like uh, Pitchfork for, for Javelin Toss, I think, uh, Bow for Archery. It's going to be a fun time. The first person to get a kill with the item of the game gets five points. And that is allowed to happen for the first five rounds, so if someone's lucky enough, they can get a full 25 points. So tell me, do you think also it could just be nobody who doesn't? Because we've seen that happen before. So let me know that too. Who do you think is going to get some bonus points? That is what I want to know. Why do you guys tell me that? I'm going to make some picks too. If I'm going for first, which I have been great at at the start of the season, not so much <laughs> after the start of the season, <laughs> I'd have to go. Pekka. I think Pekka wants us. Pekka wants a shot. Pekka wants a shot at everything that's going on right now. Let me actually make sure that that's all. Excellent. I got Pekko for first. In fact, I think it's going to be a Danganronpa 2 sweep. Pekko for first, Hajime for second, and Gundam for bronze. Give me that. That's what I want to see. Danganronpa 2 did so well yesterday. They're coming out clutch again this time. Are you ready? We're at eight minutes for the intro. Yeah, we're totally, we are ready. We are set because we have to find out first, second, third, assign some points, see who's the ultimate fencer. We can only do that. Who will be the gold medalist fencer? Let's start round one and let's find out because who boy at the start of round one, there's a lot of orange down there. That's not going to be fun. <laughs> there are tributes, but there are. No podiums, but there are still horns, so can we please? And the lovely Olympic horns, can we please sound the horns? Yes, those are, those are the horns sounding. Chisa and Juzo conspire against Izayoi. That's not, that's, if you're doing that in the very first event of the round, your team's not gonna do so well together. Himiko thinks of a dark, dark poem. Izayoi spots something shiny in the distance. Mikan sets down a trap. Kizakura swooshes the air with a sword, Pekko sizes her muscles, Anna looks for someone dumb enough to believe her, Maki gets caught in one of Mikan's traps, what a stupid mistake, now all she can do is hope to be free, she should have known better. Hajime attempts to kill Maki, but Rantaro intervenes just in time, Rantaro had to kill Hajime to protect Maki's life, Hajime is not gonna win this one, and neither is Ren because Samugi attacks Ren from behind and strangles him, why do you have to do that to the ultimate hypnotist? He didn't want to use his powers. Just like you shouldn't have used your cosplay powers, but now you gone you gone and got rid of him. He was a good boy. He was a good boy. Why'd you do it? Oh, why'd you go and do it? Togami is proud to lead Danganronpa 1. That's interesting. I didn't expect Togami proud. I'm so proud of him. Uh, Makoto does her best to avoid Anna. Mondo disappears for a while and comes back wearing a wizard robe. He slips it on, scattering sparkles everywhere. Karumi thanks Rantar for being there for her. Scarlet twiddles her thumbs. Hiroko tries to get others to notice her. Ogon Oho and Anna manage to sneak attack Mondo, kill <coughs> killing him. Ooh. Rest in peace to Mondo. Alright, now that my voice is... <laughs> 
alive. Seiko looks like she's on the verge of snapping. Munakata hopes to get everyone out of here. Masaru rambles on about something that nobody cares about. Jun Keen artfully cleaves Akane in two with his sword. And that means Jun Keen, because it's the first five rounds, has earned five points for Team OC. Five points. Good job, Jun. I'm proud of you, Jun Keen. That's the first. See, that's it's it's that easy. It's that easy, you guys. Easy peasy. Gundam finds some leather scraps, and he is now the cave breeder. That sounds horribly inappropriate. Jitaro is glad to have someone like Masaru to have boring conversations with. Mew duels it out with Taka. Taka bites the dust. Rest in peace to the ultimate samurai. <coughs> but luckily, there's another ultimate samurai here. Rantaro doesn't go prepared for any of this. Juza won't give up so easily. Mukuro is looking out only for herself. Leon fails to grasp the gravity of the situation. Chiaki and Mikan's fingers touch by accident. They both blush a little bit. Hajime snaps, and he is frenzied. Kyoko feels sorry for Maki and frees her from the trap. That's very nice of you, Katoko. Uh, not Katoko, Kyoko. Katoko's not here. Taka's lifeless body is desiccating peacefully. Genocide Jack can't take it anymore and snaps Jitaro's neck. He was just blathering and blathering and... I'm glad she didn't do it in the game, because that would have been a little bit brutal, and Komaru's just sitting there being adorable as always. Late, ladies and gentlemen, we lost six. Six souls gone. But can we get a Claire de Lune 4? Hajime. Ren. Mondo. Akane. Taka. Jotaro. And once again, one sixth of the competition. Addy here. Toodaloo to them. So long farewell. But we have 30 left. 30 to go. All of the OCs except for one. <coughs> In fact, did every team lose somebody? I don't think so. V3 didn't lose anybody, and neither did Dong on Rampa 3. Two teams are going strong right now. But it's still early game. Terrible things could happen. Terrible things will happen. As I click next round, let's see what terrible thing awaits at the two. Ooh, golly, it's a molly. At the start of round two, Kizakura kills Anna in front of Scarlet. There's nothing Scarlet can do. Oh, poor Scarlet. Poor Anna, she's out of here. Uh, but it. it geez. Leon gets mauled by wild animals. I should have expected that. Seiko tries to kill Mukuro, but Mukuro retaliates and kills her instead. You shouldn't step to Mukuro. She's not won a game, but she's. There's some fury building in that girl, I'll tell you what. <coughs> Ogon reminisces about Ren and Sobs quietly. The OCs, they really bonded before this game, and now they're going out one by one. Masaru switches the air with his sword. Maki wishes she could go home. June looks around for Stepka's grounds. Chiaki just wants to protect Mikan, don't we all? Mukuro sets down a trap. Karumi seems to find Rantaro's present soothing. Mikoto? Mikoto? Uh, hums a song to herself. Hiroko? finds a pitchfork, which she figures is great for lobbing at enemies. Komaru is ready to defend her friends. Togami makes some mistakes as a leader, but wants to do right by Dongon Rampo 1. As Zayoi swooshes the air with his sword, Scarlet has a blank expression and seems unresponsive. That death really affected her. She was a- she's the ultimate villain, but maybe she had a little bit of- she had a little bit of heart for her good old team. <coughs> Munakata artfully cleaves. Oh, oh no, the two OCs. Munakata, how could you? But of course, I gotta give him the points for that. I gotta give Munakata a big five points. I gotta give him a big five points, because he, he got that one. That's Munakata. Good on him. The start of, he's the first person in that round. See, people are getting, people are picking up these bonus points this time. I'm proud of them. They know what they're doing. <sighs> June and Ogon, rest in peace to the both of you. Himiko mopes around uselessly, Mew is thinking of plans to get out of here, Gundam gets caught in one of Mukuro's traps, and she is really trapping it up. She is trying to become the Trap Master's apprentice. Or even overtake him. Rantaro does his best to avoid Kurumi. In a fit of frenzy, Haiji creeps up on Chisa and snaps her neck. Mikan artfully cleaves Hiroko in two with her sword. If only you had done it a little bit sooner, you could have gotten some bonus points for Danganronpa too. Ren. His lifeless body is writhing with maggots. Kyoko feels sorry for Gundam. You were just the trap releaser. We got kind Kyoko over here. The Saint <laughs> Saint Kyoko. <laughs> Genocide Jack can't wait to kill again. Samugi can't take his eye take her eyes off of Mew and her glorious championship. Juzo sobs quietly, and Peko still can't believe that Mikan has killed someone. You should you should believe that one. You should believe that one. We lost seven. Seven this time. Seven 
a, a lovely glorious 7, Claire de Lune, for the 7 that we lost. 7-7? Seven, seven? Unlucky 7? These unlucky souls, the unlucky 7, the unfortunate 7, Claire de Lune, 4. <laughs> Anna. Leon. Seiko. June. Ogon. Chisa. Hiroko. And that's 23 left. 23 left, and three more rounds for people to get bonus points. Munakata has picked up five. June has picked up five. The first OC to pick up any. Who, who else will get them? Maybe nobody else, actually. That's a plausibility. That's a possibility. But we have to find out by clicking next round and proceeding to see the whole lot. Because the, oh no, at the start of round three, Maki ambushes, I'm sorry, Maki and Himiko ambush Mukuro, killing her. Rest in peace to Mukuro, and on the flip side, Kizakura, who's going off this game, attacks Gundam and Chiaki from behind, murdering them both. Gosh! Y'all are not wasting any time! <clears throat> and you didn't do it with swords, so that's no points for you! <laughs> Rantaro thanks Kurumi for being there for him. Peko feels strong enough to handle anything. Scarlet snaps out of it, because I think Scarlet's the last person for the team. Huh. Mikan wants to end things once and for all with Kyoko. Kyoko bites the dust, rest in peace. Hi, G looks around maniacally, seething. Mew tries to get others to notice her. Togami feels protected by his wealth. Munakata feels horrible for failing Dong and Rapa 3. Ezeoi reminisces about Seiko, sobs quietly. Kurumi and Samugi conspire against Himiko. Y'all, there's so much like her. Team like <laughs> Un no non loyalty, unloyalty. Betrayal. <laughs> Unloyalty. What's the opposite of loyalty? They're trying to betray each other. They're conspiring against each other. Not cool, you guys. Not cool. Komaru is being adorable as always. Samugi attempts to kill Juzo, but Munakata intervenes to protect him. Unfortunately, Munakata dies in the attempt. Rest in peace to the good boy. And it looks like it was in vain as I look further down as Genocide Jack is not sure whether to cry, laugh, or tear her hair out. Himiko finds a lovely bikini, puts it on. Quite revealing. <clears throat> Masaru rambles on about something nobody cares about, but you know who he does care about? Genocide Jack, because Juzo attempts to kill Genocide Jack, but Masaru intervenes in the nick of time and had to kill Juzo to protect Jack's life. Masaru, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Saving the squad. I appreciate that. And Mikoto, who is also, I'm sorry, Mikoto. <clears throat> Mikoto. She's okay. She's still alive. We have two OCs remaining. Is on the verge of snapping, though. So who knows how that's gonna go. We lost another six. Seven more. Until the saving grace picks. But until then, enjoy this fantastic Claire de Lune 4. Mukuro. Gundam. Chiaki. Kyoko. Munakata. Juzo. And just out of curiosity, let's look at the details, because we got, we're, we're pretty, we're a good chunk of the way through the game. For Team OC, we still have Mikoto, or Makoto, you're going to be Mikoto, <coughs> and Scarlet. For Danganronpa 2, there's just Peko and Mikan. For Ultra Despair Girls, however, they have four people remaining, Genocide Jack, Masaru, Haiji, and Komaru. Danganronpa 3 only has Izayoi and Kizakura. Danganronpa V3, however, is the team that's not only going strong, but has not lost a single competitor. Crazy, man. Crazy. <laughs> and Danganronpa 1 only has Togami. Only has Togami, their leader. He's failed them, but he could still win this match and still get some points for them. Nobody earned bonus points in round three, but there's still two more rounds that you are able to earn bonus points. Will anyone else grasp some bonus points? Will anyone die in the attempt? I think they have to in order to get bonus points. Let's find out who it'll be as we go on to the next round, round four. Himiko flaunts that bikini. Genocide Jack has a horrible feeling in her gut. At least it wasn't Akane. I trust Akane's gut. Genocide Jack, her gut's a little bit crazy. Akane's gut knows what is going on. It's been through a lot of food. <coughs> Togami swooshes the air with a sword. If only it did something with it. Mew was lost in her thoughts. And she's found a wish ring. She is the wish queen. Don't forget, 
And right below her, the Wish King does not find a ring. He finds a suit of medieval armor and puts it on. It gleams with a dazzling shine. Izayoi kills Haiji before Komaru can react. Komaru rushes to help, but Haiji dies in her arms. Good. <laughs> Samugi looks for someone dumb enough to believe her. Kizakura tries to kill Rantaro, but Rantaro's knight's armor diverts the blow. Mikote does her best to avoid Scarlet. Masaru feels strong enough to handle anything. Maki wishes she could go home. Peko's ready to defend those friends. Scarlet hums a song to herself. Karumi and Rantaro's fingers touch by accident. They both blush a little bit. That's not something I expected from the both of you. Mondo's gone, so is Ren. Komaru just wants it to end already, and Mikan won't give up so easily. Still 16 left. Six more until your saving grace picks, but we only lost one, and I guess we gotta give him a clear day loon. So hit it up four. Haiji. So that's one more gone from Ultra Despair Girls. Could they? They have both of the ultimate, ultimate, the Ultra Despair Girls still in Komaru and Jack. But will it happen? Will they come out on top? I don't know. The only way to find out is by clicking next round and proceeding. Who? It will not. They will not come out on top. Not the two of them. <laughs> Because of the start of round 5, Mikoto tries to kill Izioi, but Izioi retaliates and kills her instead. Karumi is wearing a dapper suit, which is just always fantastic. She is great, she is phenomenal, she is glorious. Kizakura gets mauled by wild animals, though. That's not so glorious. Komaru wants it to end already, and it does, because Maki doesn't really want to, but finds herself having to get rid of Komaru. And even though, oh my gosh, you just did something for the team, Maki, and they turned, they, 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 they did you dirty. Himiko thinks of a dark, dark poem. Izayoi looks around for stuff to scrounge. Togami finds us all below his concern. Pekka wants to protect Mikan in an act of betrayal. Samugi and Kurumi team up and eliminate Maki. That's nasty, y'all some nasty. <laughs> Samugi, Kurumi, I just praised you, Kurumi. Why do you gotta go and do that to Maki? Oh my gosh, we lost a whole ton of people today. Kurumi challenges Masaru to a duel. Kurumi bites the dust. Rantaro also doesn't ho oh, uh, hopes it doesn't have to harm anyone, and Seiko's gone. Mikan! Even though Peko felt like she wanted to protect Mikan, Mikan felt like Peko was slowing her down, so Mikan eliminated Peko. That was my pick, gosh darn it. Curse you, Mikan, and Scarlet swooshes the air with her sword. Mew wishes Mikan would disappear. Her wish ring shimmers for a second, and then... Nobody seems to remember Mikan ever existed at all. What was the end of this round? Because also, Genocide Jack's brain turns her into a horrible person. What was the end of this round? Look at this. It, 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 it looked like fine. We started with three, and then it just went con continued to go red. There's nine people left. A Claire de Lune 4. Mikoto. Kizakura. Komaru. Maki. Karumi. Peko. Mikan. And that leads us to out of, not really out of nowhere, but still a lot of people gone, leads us to your... Saving Grace. Picks! And now, for Danganronpa 3, there is only Izioi, our boy. Team OC only has Scarlet. Danganronpa 3 lost two people, now they're down to four, Samugi, Rantaro, Himiko, and Mew. Danganronpa 2 is out completely, no more points for them. They will not earn any points this episode. <laughs> Uh, Ultra Spare Girls only has Genocide Jack and Masaru, and Danganronpa 1 has Togami, still, holding out strong for that team. Those are your final nine. It's been a long- it's been a, it feels like it's been a while since we had a saving grace pick that was ten, or nine, because they've been- they've been short. <laughs> they've been short recently. <laughs> so this is refreshing. Let me know. You know how you have to do it. Comment. Edit your comment. Reply to your comment. Comment on your comment, comment on someone else's comment, do whatever you gotta do to make sure that your saving grace pick is known. Because someone's gonna be the first singles gold medalist for today. In fact, we are on round five, so nobody else can, yeah, that's also the cutoff point. Nobody else can kill with the sword, so the only two people who got bonus points 
the Ultimate Samurai, I'm actually glad that the Ultimate Samurai did use the sword to cash in some free points. <coughs> some bonus points. And Munakata, who also got some points. Neither of them are still alive, so it's a shame, but... Who do you got? I know you guys have been thinking about it, you've been looking at it. I have not, so I need to actually make one. Give me Komaru. The Knight of the Voice, the cutest knight. Never mind, Kamara died this round. What am I talking about? <laughs> I was like, Kamara's still in? That's not right. <laughs> Give me Komaru. Worst saving grace pick ever already. <laughs> That's the first time I've done that one. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Give me Rantaro. Rantaro didn't die, right? Okay, good. Yeah, I'm gonna take Rantaro for that one. Give me Rantaro. <laughs> What is what is life? Hopefully you guys have enjoyed that and made your saving grace fix because we all know who's still alive. <coughs> Izayoi. Ooh, Scarlet, Samugi, Rantaro, Himiko, Mew. Genocide Jack, Masaru, and Togami are all caught. Not in a crisis of fate. They're all caught with their arms and legs on their bodies, might not be after this round, but they will still fight strong even if they didn't have them, with the strength of a samurai woman. It's time, let's go, next round, <laughs> I still can't believe I picked someone who was gone. At the start of round 6, ladies and gentlemen, that's a shame, that is a shame, I really want an OC to at least get in the top 3. At the start of round 6, Masaru rambles on about something nobody cares about, just still. Oh, Jotaro's lifeless body rives with maggots. Mew wishes for a birthday cake. Her wish ring shimmers for a second, and her wish materializes in front of her. Happy birthday to Mew. Happy birthday to Mew. Happy birth- No, we're done. <laughs> Izuyoi artfully cleaves Samugi in two with his sword of only were one round sooner, my boy. One round sooner. Ogon's no longer alive. <clears throat> also, Ogon's the ultimate samurai. He didn't get any points. The ultimate ninja got points. It was ninjas versus samurais, and apparently ninjas won. Himiko attacks Scarlet from behind and murders her. The ultimate villainess is gone. At least you got a top 10 position. Rantaro watches the blood off of his knight's armor. Genocide Jack's bad brain saps her will to live, and Togami somehow, someway, finds a suit full of medieval armor. That's two people in mid uh, medieval armor now. It gleams with a dazzling shine. We lost two. Two more cards. Can we get a Claire de Lune four? In fact, no. Give me that. Uh, give me that. Uh, it's a top ten. Let's play something different for the top ten now. Yes, I'm. I'm throwing my head in the ring. Let's play another sad song. Play the uh the sad version of the 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 uh the phase the the Turnabout Sisters. Give me the sad version of that one four. Samuki. Scarlet. Oh, that is a sad song. This one always gets to me for some reason, because I know what it's associated with. <laughs> we have Masaru. We have Mew. We have Izioi. We have Himiko. We have Rantaro. Did I say Jack already? We got Jack and we've got Togami. They are all together here. They're here together now. Still, with the heart of a samurai woman, it's your final seven, your final lucky seven. How many will we lose? I don't know, but we gotta proceed. It's still your final seven. Let's see who comes out on top. At the start of round 7. It doesn't look like anyone's gonna die this time because Togami thinks about Mondo and sobs quietly. Mew ponders how best to wish, uh, use her wish ring. Masaru does his best to avoid genocide. Jack Harumi's gone. Izuyo stares in the distance. Rantaro wishes he didn't have to arm anyone. Himiko finds a pitchfork, which is great for lobbing. That's not the event. This is That's, that's not the... Go ahead and use it, though. It, it, we're gonna use them later, Himiko, but you, I'll remember this, Himiko. Maybe you'll be in that episode. <laughs> genocide Jack wishes she was dead. It's a good thing you didn't have the wish ring, because you would have granted that one. Round 8. Mew wishes for Himiko to have really cool facial hair. Much to Himiko's surprise, Mew's wish ring seems happy to comply. Himiko's got a, Himiko's got some pretty dope facial hair now. Okay. <laughs> Izuyo tries to kill Togami, but Togami's knight of armor is now doing work. Rantaro's ready to cleave some invaders in that knight's armor, and with his sword, it's a fencing match. Masaru feels strong enough to handle anything. Togami feels horrible for failing Danganronpa 1. 
Something inside of Genocide Jack snaps. Genocide Jack is now frenzied. Himiko wonders how far she could throw her pitchfork, and Cheese is gone. So we'll keep going, because nobody got got. People get got today, though. My gosh. <laughs> People get got, my gosh. Mew tries to make a wish. Her wish ring is out of magic. It emits a rancid smoke. Crackling, angry sparkles. That ring is gonzo. Togami mauled by wild animals. What a way to go. Dong and Rapa 1 still earning no points this game. Rest in peace to them. Genocide Jack, her frenzy, finally dies down. Rantaro starts sobbing uncontrollably. Izuo attempts to kill Mew, but Rantaro intervenes to protect her. Unfortunately, Rantaro dies in the attempt. Jotaro is gonzo. Himiko challenges Masaru to a duel. Himiko bites the dust. Danganronpa 3 is losing people. Oh my gosh. And Anna's Gonzo. We lost three more. It's the final four. But first, can we get... It's not can we get a Claire de Lune. I just changed the music, huh? What a turnabout. For our fallen three. Togami. Rantaro, Himiko, which means one more person gone and we have some medals, we have some points to award. It is Mew the champ. <laughs> who could who could win two singles games in a row? She could just start a dominant streak. Genocide Jack, Rantaro, and Masaru. So Ultra Despair Girls is guaranteed, guaranteed to earn points. Because Genocide Jack is a part of Ultra Despair Girls, and so is Masaru. Interesting. Uh, Rantaro's not alive, I'm sorry. Who's, who else is still alive? Mew, Genocide Jack, Izayoi. Interesting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting, so yeah, that's still, that's still the same. Genocide Jack, guaranteed to get points. I'm sorry. Not guaranteed to get points, she's not. <laughs> Ultra Despair Girls, guaranteed to get points. Himiko is gone. But Masaru is there too. One of those two will earn points for their team. Both of them could. That's all I gotta say. But we gotta go on, because this is just Mew. It is Genocide Jack. It is Izayoi. And it is Masaru caught in a crisis of fate. It's the final four. One of these team, or one of these people, will come out with a gold medal and 25 big points for their team. Who's it gonna be? Let's find out as we click next round. Nobody dies. But Masaru does find some leather scraps. He's a cave person. That attire doesn't do anything for you, unfortunately, to my knowledge. Muse could think of a genius idea. Genocide Jack isn't sure of whether to cry, laugh, or tear her hair out. And Izzy always spots something shiny in the distance. Everybody else who's listed here is Gonzo, but we'll click next round and... Well, it will not be... <laughs> Ultra Despair Girls who takes the win because as Genocide Jack twitches uncontrollably, Izuoi attacks Masaru and Genocide Jack from behind, killing them both. Masaru died first, so Genocide Jack gets the bronze. I feel like Masaru just keeps getting dirtied in these simulators. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Mew doesn't care much for this place. It's down to the final two, but what a turnabout of events for... Masaru. Genocide Jack. So, Jack does get the bronze medal, so good on you, Jack. Bronze medal to the squad. I feel so bad for Masaru. That man's had a strong performance last season and gets gypped every single time. I feel bad for the boy. But, Ultra Despair Girls, they get that bronze. They get that 10 points. Right now, yes, because... Danganronpa V3 is 100% getting points this episode because Mew's still in. Danganronpa 1 is the only team that has... Yeah, Danganronpa 1 is the only team that has no points. <laughs> Guaranteed to have no points at the end of this thing. <laughs> but, who's it gonna be? Will it be your champ winning two weeks in a row? Or will it be Izanyoi? Ladies and gentlemen, imagine. Imagine if the Agent of Chaos thing hit and Mew wins this game anyway. That would have been wild. That would have been nuts. But it could be Izioi who picks up his first win. Mew. Or our boy is <coughs> our boy Izioi. My voice. We gotta get through this. So that my voice can rest. It can rest. It can take a nap. But Izioi. Mew. Izioi. Mew. The champ. Or justice. Izioi? Mew, it might not even happen as I click next round. 
It does not, because, oh, but he's got a handgun, just enough bullets to be useful. Izioi, you might be our boy to win. Mikoto is dead, Togami's dead, so is Maki, so is Taka, and Mew swooshes the air with her sword. It is sword versus gun, and... Sword wins! Izioi aims his handgun in the distance, and for the second week in a row, Mew artfully cleaves Izioi in two with her sword. What a turnabout. After he got the gun, I was like, this man's might have it, but let me tell you, a turnabout of events for... Izioi. Who gets a silver medal. Our boy does. But that means your winner. Currently undefeated this season. <laughs> Representing Danganronpa V3 getting the gold medal and getting you guys a fan vote immediately. Mew from Danganronpa V3. She's a legend. I don't think anyone's ever won the first two games of a season. It's not happened. It has not happened. Mew's currently undefeated this season. That's nuts to me. But look at the KOs. Izioi had six. I thought it was his time to shine. He's getting robbed a lot recently. I feel bad for him too. Izioi, Masaru, oh no. Those poor babies. Oof. Oof. Big oof. <coughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. That's, that's, okay. I feel so bad. I feel so bad for him. I really do. <sighs> Genocide Jack took the bronze. Mew took the gold. Izioi, six KOs. Samuki had three. Masaru also had three. He also did well. He also got robbed. <laughs> Mikan with three. Kizakura with three. Mew with three. Everyone else with two or less. And we can bring up the bracket. Do we want to bring up the bracket? I think we have to bring up the bracket now. We gotta reveal. Actually, let's look at the points first. Let's look at the points. I'll tell you, Danganronpa 1, 0 points. Danganronpa 2 got none, so they remain at 25. Danganronpa 3, however, did pick up 5 because of Munakata, so they are now at a whopping 30 points. Danganronpa V3 picked up their winner. They got 25 points from this episode, now they are at 25 points. Ultra Spare Girls picked up 10 because of Genocide Jack, so they are now at 10 points. And the OC team... Did pick up five points because of June. He's our OC MVP right now. They've got five, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> it's still anybody's game, because one game could change all of that. <sighs> now let's look at why those points matter. The winner's bracket. As you can see, well now Mew is also just a regular fan bro, which is nuts to me. This is laid out where the team that finishes with the most points in first place gets four additional slots for people who earned points this season. You guys will be pitting four people from the people from the team that had first. Let's say Danganronpa 2 finishes in first place. Everyone who earned points for Danganronpa 2 goes into a fan vote and the highest four selections will go on to the finale. That's how that's gonna work. Second place gets three of those fan votes. Third place gets two, and all the other teams only get one. So finishing not only with points, but also coming out at the very top for the whole team is important. You want your team to finish first so you can get those beautiful fan votes, and you earned you guys a legitimate fan vote, so a normal fan vote, a normal fan vote category. Good on her. Didn't expect it to happen. Immediately, at least. Mew's just not playing games this season. It's season of Mew. It's Mew season. It is Mew season, especially for the singles bracket. Congratulations to her. I... I'm shocked. Good on her, though. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm taking off. I'm gonna drink some water. Stay hydrated, because it is hot. My giant water bottle completely agrees. Stay classy. Year of the Horizon. Where's my glasses? <clears throat> I'll see you next week. More OCs. Currently, Danganronpa 3 is 
not killing it, but they are in first place by a slim margin. Dongarapa V3 at 25, Dongarapa 2 at 25. Dongarapa 1's got some catching up to do. <laughs> they are sucking. But that can all change in a single game. Like Dongarapa 3 could pick up all three of the spots and get a whole bunch of bonus points. That's just the insanity of the season. Congratulations to Mew, who is now a gold medal. Not only the champ, but a gold medal freaking fencer, which is crazy to me. Izzyoi makes sense. Genocide Jack kind of makes sense too. Mew, apparently there's a sword play kink. Stay classy. Toodaloo. Flight crew.